What's up guys, Ike here and welcome back to next episode of Scrap Mechanic and also welcome to my playground for the last few days. As you can see I was working on my on one mod which I released today. So let me first maybe show all the parts and then I'll go and show what you can build and use them and so on. So basically this mod I'll call it Scrap Parts because originally I had this idea to make these scrap plates. As you can see they turned out pretty awesome and then once I finished these I wanted to make some with the rivets so I made these two and then uh, I posted on the discord like the picture and someone suggested I'll put your name or his name here on the screen because actually thanks to him I made these these roof tiles and I call them shed walls although they all are uh, roof tiles it's just that these are in angle and these are straight so <laughs> that's why I call them wall and these are the roofs. So yeah, basically, uh, this is <laughs> this how they uh, look. Oh, and there's another uh, metal metal plate. So yeah, these are. Let me show like one by one how I made them and how I came to other and so on. So basically, these two are the original ones. And then I actually these roofs. I'm kind of proud of them because as you can see, their default state is in angle. So you can build house roofs and so on. I already built that shed there with this 45 degree roof which looks pretty pretty awesome. As you can see there's these two types uh, of the roofs. Well basically you can use all of them for the roofs but these two are already in the 45 degree angle. Actually also this one is the last piece which I made. I made it just just because I thought that this rusted doesn't look that great so I came up with this one and actually Right now it's my favorite one. So yeah, these how they look. And also, I have these triangles here. Which looks pretty, pretty awesome. And these are so when you build something with a roof. Let me just go and show. So you, if you build like this 45 degree, degree angle a roof, you have this piece. Which you can place like here in the corner. And then you have this nice finish here. So yeah, these are all the parts. And this actually, these are the original ones, like the plane. And from these ones, I also kind of inspired that I should make this 45 angle block, which is actually super, super hard to figure out how how long it needs to be and so on. Because I couldn't just, well, I can't place them like a straight, uh, because I couldn't just like a rotate in 45 degree angle and be done with it. Because if you try to make like uh, with a 90 90 degree angle here in the like the corner they needs to be they need to be slightly longer than slightly longer than like if it's just flat on the flat on the world because these are three by five but once I like a uh, moved it up it was th three by four I couldn't just like extend by one I had to extend by one point one one or something like that and they are they are still like a uh, somewhat inside each other so if you ever build a roof, I'm not sure if in YouTube video you'll be able to pick it up. Let me see, do I have paint tool? Yeah. So let's paint this one red and if you, well, you just jump through. And that's the thing for these roofs is that the air collision is only like here at the bottom. So let's jump here. Well, I guess you can't really, yeah, you can't really see. Even in the game that they are like a flickering, so that's all good. So I made these roofs, and here's all like original blocks, which I made. And then I have this favorite one, which is this wall. Just so freaking awesome. I just really like, like to <laughs> look at it. Actually, it's also super satisfying to build, so let me just extend this wall a bit. So let me take my block. As you can see, when you build, first off it just fits where it needs to go, and also it just just so freaking satisfying to build with these with these blocks. Not sure why, just so awesome. Well, <laughs> let me finish it the right way, right like uh, this. Yeah, as you can see, it's super super satisfying, and they fit well, fit in so well. I just, I just, <laughs> I just really like this block. So and also there is uh, this one, and there's the small one. 
And I'm still not kind of sure if I should leave like this scratches here in the middle because uh, let me show here. Well, you can't really see, but if you make like a from one one from one block like a whole wall, you can kind of see that the scratch like repeats and it doesn't look that great. And that's a uh, maybe I like this one because you, you can't really see that they repeat itself. It really looks like a random parts and so on. Some even on the Discord thought that it's a, like a drug drug block, which is just textured like that. So <laughs> that's how good they look and so on. All right, and now let's return back to this shed because it was one of the things which I kind of <laughs> wanted to make and was kind of reason to make these these blocks at all. So yeah, this is the uh, shed, and you can actually open the front door, which works like this. And actually, maybe some of you can help to figure out how to make like a these doors so they like a split in pieces because I already made like this and thought I just need like a move them out. And uh, rotate these bearings, but it doesn't seem to work that way. It's like a it rotates in itself if I make how I thought it should work. So yeah, now I just have this top bearing and it extends. Although it looks similar, similar how I wanted to make it, it just didn't turn out how I wanted. So yeah, this is the shed. Just, just so freaking awesome. So yeah, maybe let me build something so I can show how it how you can use it and so on so as you can see from this one you kind of still need to have some something inside so my suggestion is if you make this kind of sheds is just start by making like a four walls maybe let's just make it hmm yeah let's make it shit like this so it's off the ground and later on, if it's too heavy and so on, you can just delete like a delete the inside support and so on. At least I did like that on this shed. But I'm not sure how it, it's. Oh, because the wall is already one block. That makes sense. Anyways, I don't really need the last wall for now. So now uh, let's just put these these tiles around. And I really like this like rust part, rusty part is that you can make it like upside down. Well, not sure which is which way is upside down, but basically you can make it like a there's a dirt from the ground, or you can make it that the that the rain made them like uh, this. But in my case, I will make it upside down because I I just really like how because when you place like this. It's kind of unnatural that there is like a, this clean, clean part without anything. If you turn it around, it really looks like a, it's a dirt from the ground. So now, here is the one by five block, which comes handy here. And now you can use the clean blocks for the walls. And a last one here. Not sure if I should make that high. Let's make it smaller. Like here. And one block which I haven't made because I can't really decide how I want to make it is here on the top. Here on top, like at the, the top part, like the ending. How, how should I make it at the ends? Because right now if you make it like this with the 16 block, it's like uh, there is there's two blocks in the middle, like where it meets. But and if you make wider, then there's one block. So I can't really decide. But I guess I'll need to make like a one by three block for two different types, where where it's one block in the middle and where it's two blocks in the middle, so you can make somewhat somewhat decent building. All right, and now the roof. Roof pieces. Which one it is this one? Let's go with rusty roof. Yeah, let's go with. Oh well, yeah, with the rusty roof, the rust is always on top, because so it looks like a, uh, it's uh, rust from the top. And like uh, this, I guess I made it too long, but you can always put it one like this. And here on the, like to make the second row, you again need to extend so. 
There's something wanted to hold. So let's see, where is this one? Let's go with the clean one. Like this. And as you can see, it's super handy that they are already in the angle and I don't need to... You don't need to worry about the... How to make them an angle and so on. So this is how you can make the... Walls and so on. So let's finish it off. With these ones here and... No, not the short one. This one? Yeah, like this. And now the triangles, so uh, let's go with... This one for triangles, there is like a one by one collision. So you kinda need to think how you will place it. So as you can see, you can walk through and, and so on. But if you place like this... And this is actually turned out so freaking awesome. Let's maybe add another just to show more <laughs> show more how it works because I just I just really really like this mode. Also, I finally kind of started to understand the blender better, so I can build stuff better and so on. Because before I always used like Zimler, and then I just uh, imported in the blender and exported straight to. Straight, <laughs> straight to scrap mechanic, and it nev not always turned out how we wanted. So, so I just leave with it. But now I can actually, s now I can actually control how I how I make them and so on. Let's add the last triangle here just because. <laughs> well, it goes too high. Well, I could place the close ribbon. I just put like uh, this. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> this is this is how you can build and so on. And also here is this small one, which I just think will be useful in some cases. Oh, this actually actually is kind of good. Anyway, so yeah, I guess that's all for uh, this video. There will be a lot more parts just now. I can't really think what parts I will uh, make. But yeah guys, thank you for watching this video, subscribe to this mod and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video. Bye!